What's up guys and welcome to another video. Um, so I wanted to make this video real quick. Um, this is not anything groundbreaking and stuff and some of you guys may actually hate this. Um, but I just want to show you something. Everybody's complaint I see in like groups I'm in is on the Duolingo app, right? Everybody's like, oh man, that sucks. I can't see notes, blah, blah, blah. And the only reason I'm saying this is because I've seen this in groups and people complain about it. So you click on, like for example, in my Esperanto thing, I'm on prepositions right now. You got all these courses you can do. Um, but there is no notes and everybody wants the notes. Well, here's the thing. Here's the simplest solution for me. Now, it's not like a big hack or anything. All you're going to do is you're going to go down here to your web browser. And the reason I'm doing this is because I've told this to a ton of people and they never thought about this, right? You're going to click on the address bar up here. You're going to go to Duolingo's website. And then check it out. Whatever one you have questions about, like again, I'm on prepositions. Click on prepositions. Scroll down, and there's the notes. You can access the notes in the web browser on your phone, and then if you want them, simply screenshot it, save them to your photos. Because the thing is, if you've downloaded the app of Duolingo, you have the internet on your phone, and it's something that you can access. I don't know, it, just a little tip on how to do that. Like I said, the only reason I made this video is because I've talked to a ton of people who don't realize that you can do that, and this is just to let you guys know. So if you need tips and notes from Duolingo, I know they're not in the app, but next time you get to a Wi-Fi connection, just go in, screen cap them, and all the notes that you need in order to read over are right there at the touch of your phone. So, just wanted to let you guys know that. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.